Sim. And that one is going to be very costly. That was very tough, wasn't it? And again, as you said, John, couldn't see a safety, so tried to pot his way out of trouble, and you, you wouldn't blame him for that. Well, just the quality of Ronnie's safety. Well, it's very clever the way he left the cue ball, as you mentioned at the time, in that jaws of the yellow pocket, covered the any easy red to play safe off. And forced Matthew into going for that red, which was... One. Well, low percentage. I don't want the blacks available. If it isn't, he'd love to get on the red just above the black, but if the black's available, then... He can play nicely on a red. At the moment, he'll just concentrate on the blue. 12 points behind Six. at the moment. Seven. The only frame he's really got in with his hand on the table like this. He made breaks well. of 50 and 68. That was in frame 19. Mm. That was a bad contact. That was a heavy contact. And now he's coming round to see if he can just roll the blue in and leave it. Look at the, the red bounce. There is a red near the left corner, but just rolling the blue in. Can he stay on it? If he can get the cue ball, yeah, somewhere near that circle, he will be able to reach it and still have an angle on this red that's close to the bottom left-hand corner pocket. And well, that's pretty good. Black does pot into Eight. this bottom right-hand corner pocket, so he can try and get on the black here, if he wishes. Yeah, just being a bit careful with the yellow, and that's why he's playing it left-handed. Just watch your backhand as you push through. You don't hit the yellow. <laughs> that just shows you another advantage. Using his right hand. The yellow, the brown, the green was making it awkward, so he changed, and then, of course, they weren't in his line. <laughs> Yeah, and because it rattled, it didn't go into the middle of the pocket. He hasn't got the perfect angle on this black. Yeah. Mm, trying that's to hold, and that's all it was. I mean, if you'd have said to Ronnie, just pop the black, no problem, but trying to hold for position, because as Ken said, he wasn't ideal on it. Just caught the near jaw. So that's really the first time he's been in and made a mistake. So a chance now for Matthew, but very difficult to win the frame at this visit. The points now all square. And the pink tied up, the red next to it tied up, two reds near the side cushion, one on the right hand side cushion. He'll do Eight. well to win the frame at this visit. I think it's important here, Johnny. It's a nice angle on this black. There is a red, of course, Nine. an open play, but... I was going to say, if you've got a nice angle on the black, you could try and dislodge a couple of reds and still be on that red, but it doesn't look like he has the right angle off it this time. He may try and bring the reds into play off this red. You yeah. are trusting a little bit of luck of where the cue ball's 16. going. But he's got a nice angle, hasn't he? Yep. As you say, you trust the look when you get a good position on a collar, but don't take your eye off the pot. That's the problem. He's brought the reds away 17. from the cushion. Well, one, and luckily, has gone near the bought cushion, but you're never guaranteed to have the good position you were looking for on the collar. So it's a tough blue, tough black. Black looks to be the better ball. Well, he's having a look at the blue potting angle, so obviously he thinks he can pot this blue and avoid the kiss on the green. Eight. 
And he may be able to re release this red. And I think that's why he chose the blue. And he's a little unlucky, if anything, he's not too safer. But a bit closer to the pocket. So he'll play for that red now that he's that's near his bridge hand. Mm, just bounced off the cushion a fraction more than he would have liked. Fifth. 29 points the lead. So I think he'll play up for the blue here because it'd be easier off the blue to get on that red near the bought cushion. Well, he tried to run through. Matthew Stevens, fifth. And deciding to run through like that, he made, in all honesty, that pot a little easier because he wasn't playing it with too much pace. I'm surprised he missed that. So Ronnie comes to the table, 29 points behind. Still 51 remaining. trouble here John he could drop this red up towards the middle pocket and put the cue ball behind the pink here I think the angle is there it's a delicate little shot he said he won't be leaving anything should he he can hit a little bit of pacey Well, you could only assume from that that he didn't have the angle, but uh, well, he's left a possible pot on for Ronnie. And if Ronnie can get into the bought cushion, kick this red up the table, leave the cue ball where the red is, we have a slight advantage in the tactical battle. Oh, he didn't get right in behind it. So that's two careless safety shots from Ronnie, one after the other. Unusual. Well, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't have a attempt at that red. It certainly was potable. Would have been only leaving that red had he had missed it. Travis the safety matches Stevens. Okay, it's a decent safety, but can't see too much of a problem here for Ronnie. He's only worried about where the red is going here, but certainly big target behind the yellow and brown here. didn't get behind them and I would suggest that this red is a chance but the yellow is going to make an awkward queuing so it's a tough pot anyway it's even more difficult if you can't get your hand and striking down on the cue ball which it seems you'll have to be with the yellow being there but he's looking to take it on he's looking for red well, if he got on the black, red, black, and one more red. Yeah, that was tough. Well, he's got the double kiss. So Ronnie got a similar type of shot. And I think the shot for Ronnie, as I say, always difficult. And the double kiss helped Matthew there. Ronnie could play this, but he's straighter than Matthew, and if he potted this and stunned it, he'd be against the cushion, so looks like he's just playing the safety. Mm, 
Well, normally the kiss on the boat colour isn't a good thing, but, well, is there a gap between green and blue? Matthew having a good close look. Well, there is a gap. You have to swerve it slightly. Couldn't hit enough of it to pot it, but he'd be glad that the gap was there so he could play a good safety, which he's done. <laughs> be careful of the double kiss here. The double kiss was always on, particularly off the pink, when it was going to come off that cushion. That cue ball couldn't get back up the table quick enough. <coughs> yeah, once again, big target behind yellow and brown. You'd be very disappointed with that. I may have. Just about covered the one closest to the top cushion. Well, he's got the cover on these two, so it's not too bad, but it's an easy swear. Would have loved to be in a full ball snooker here. Mm, and that could be end of frame. Matthew looking for red colour red. And absolutely is perfect on the blue. It looks a formality now to take the frame. This red to go 36 points in front with 35 remaining. Six. Seven. Well, this is tremendous performance here from Matthew. Started the session 11 5 behind. The first frame this morning, 16 minutes. Second frame, 15, just over 15. An 18 minute frame. Last one, 40. Just under 13 minutes. But this one just coming into its 35th minute. So he had to battle for this. And you always get a lot of self-confidence out of winning the frame that could have gone either way and but for a couple of snookers Matthew Stevens has reduced the deficit to just three frame 22 Matthew Stevens to break Please make sure they're switched off. Good length of cue ball. There's just one red that Ronnie can get to. May consider taking the pot on. It's one of those that you just feel if you get near it, the only red you can leave is the one you're playing. for that. You will not see a pot struck better. Beautiful. Didn't have the angle, obviously, to stun into the cluster, because knowing Ronnie, he would Eight. have done. So he needs a good angle now off this red. And he's got the perfect angle. Now, no one plays it better, this shot, than Ronnie. Sometimes we see him, but with it being flat like that, I think you've got to stun this and try and stun through the edge of them. And that's what he did. Because if he'd have played with backspin, when the white hit the red, it'd have come back towards the top cushion. He's just about on one to the 60. right middle. Yeah, it's not perfect, is it? Because they're so tightly packed, that pack, and that's why... 
many reds came out, so yeah. just getting the cue ball cleaned. Yeah, it was a type of pack where I think he'd have much preferred to have gone into them off the blue, but the way the reds were situated, he didn't have much choice. But look at this for a shot. Tight against the cushion. Well, you couldn't strike a snooker ball better than that. 70. Oh, just wanted a half ball kiss on that yellow or even just miss it. He's still on the brown, but it's very, very tough. Yeah, and a cut back into a blind pocket because we call it that because you can see the cue ball, see the object ball, but you've not got a pocket in your line. That's why he's picking out the spot on the brown. He needs to hit to pot it. Delicate shot. Super. Great shot. And just look at the position, John. What a shot that was. 21. Exquisite. Twenty-two. And this time he is played for the blue. As we watch that brown again, the control, particularly on these super quick cloths. Well, playing for the yellow. Thought he may be better off getting this red out of the way, but you can be assured off this red. He wants to leave an angle on the blue to try and open the reds here. Twenty-five. Well, I'll be surprised if he doesn't play it, but there is one loose red, but he's usually the first one to go into the cluster. Well, he's leaving it till the last minute. Third. Well, he's going to screw back as he and open them off this red. Oh, great shot. Super shot. 31. It's amazing, John, isn't it, how he can do that? And he's, he's done that with his left hand as well. It's amazing, amazing shot. Power he gets, generates a screw back. 30. Yeah, it's funny when you're in the commentary box, because I'm calling that shot, and I'm thinking, well, he's got to play the cannon off the blue, but because he automatically thinks like a left-handed player, it, I mean, if it was on the other side of the table, a right-handed, you'd think of it, wouldn't you? Leave the red half ball, pot it, screw off the other reds, but... So, to have it in your imagination, to think as a left-handed and right-handed player is unbelievable. I think they call it natural talent, though. 38. <laughs> actually, that pink, because it doesn't spot, it actually helps Ronnie, because the red that's on the pink spot does pot. And once it gets to a stage where he gets on that red, when he does pot that, and the red just below it pots as well, so he doesn't have to worry about Developing any more reds in this break. We can, there's plenty there in the open to win this frame. 46. And this is a fantastic break so far. Yeah, we were saying 53. that Matthew has won four of the five frames this morning, but Ronnie had nothing to be upset 54. about. I mean, apart from in the last frame, he was to black off the spot when the Reds were awkward anyway, and he wouldn't be thinking that positively of a frame-winning opportunity. But <coughs> the one frame he did win and made breaks of 50 and 68, he looked to be queuing just as 61. well as he has done in most part of this match. And 62. potting that one, he's released, I think, another red to the right corner. He's got a nice angle on the blue. The blue and one more red put his second frame on the scoreboard this morning. And what a break this has been. The opening red, well, you go quite a while to see a better one than that. Let's have another look and enjoy. Super shot, wasn't it? Just coming around to have a look. Is that pink pot, and is there a possible plant even after when he pots this red? So 68 points 68. to lead now, with just 59 remaining. And there must be a plant. Well, it just shows you this game, doesn't it? Matthew has played to all intents and purposes the perfect shot. He's left him tight on the cushion with just one red poking out. 
one red poker now. Yeah? And then uh, that goes in and you go back to your seat and... Well, Matthew, I know Matthew, just sit and admire this as absolute genius. Nothing you can do 81. about this, and he knows it. Deserves a century break, this. But unfortunately, oh. we're not going to see one, but it was more than enough frame. to win the frame. The opening red, well, deserves to win any game. And Ronnie extends his lead. He's queuing well, and he now stretches his lead once again to four, 13-9. Yes, Ronnie once again showing great levels of focus and concentration as he wins only his second frame of the morning. So in we go to the penultimate frame of the session and it's Stevens at the table, 18 points to nil up. Red over the corner as he got the cover. He needs it. I think not. I think you can bend that with a bit of side. The only problem is if you bend it with left hand side, then that left hand side will career you into other reds. Are you certain to have position? The black's not available. Yeah, but definitely going into reds. He's trusting a bit of luck here. And he's okay. And he's got out. And he's perfect on the green. Yeah, not the best of chances, is it? <laughs> Black out of the commission. Pink near the side cushion. Blue not on its spot. Yellow down this end. So this is one of these situations where you've just got to... Four. ...try and accumulate points. Yes, I think if he if he has a chance, a first chance, particularly is to get that blue back on its spot. Because he's certainly not going to be able to win the frame, just potting ball colours. So first chance he gets, I'm sure he'll try and get this blue back on its spot. Five. Well, I think he had your idea in mind, Ken. And, uh, funnily enough, he doesn't look that good on the green to me, so even though the, green, the blue's a bit thin, well, he's decided that the, the blue's a bit too risky. Well, just, uh, just so lazily stroked the ball, Eight. and look at the, the action he got on it. Both these players have treated us to some beautiful shots. This morning. Now is he on the blue this time? Nine. He'll be playing it. There's a few loose reds he could play for, and as you said, it's imperative he gets the blue on its spot. And even then to win the frame at this visit, particularly as he's four points behind. 40. He's just looking at his angle. I mean, even if he did try and go into the black and red here, he'd, be, he'd have to generate an awful lot of power to get back up for blue. Fifteen. short the pace just makes this next positional shot a little bit more difficult yes in an ideal world you'd like to play for the red that's immediately above the black to the right corner but I don't see how you can get on it off this just off straight blue and if he played for the red that's closest to the left hand cushion to the left corner where does your colour come from But we always knew it was going to be difficult. Never going to be straightforward. And OK, you can play the, the run round. And Ronnie's certainly got ample cue power to 
to get that amount of follow through on the, the cue ball but he's now looking to see just screwing back and playing for that red to the left corner doesn't make this red any easier the fact that he's got quite a bit to do with the white to get good white. position on the colour I play this with pace and be accurate. Well, that was a tremendous shot. And that's exactly how he left it, so he could stun across. Wasn't bothered which colour he got on. Anyone will do. And stunned it across and nicely on the yellow. Again, must be top side of the blue this time. 23. Must be top 24. side of the blue. Has he got the angle? Looks to be very straight. Can he force an angle? It's just got a slight angle. It's got to be bouncing that cue ball. Oh, that's a tremendous shot. Does it check off the second cushion? Sometimes when you put that amount of right hand side, it, it straightens up off the second cushion. That one didn't. But he's found this red to go at. One of the more difficult ones. Used all the pocket. And this time, he's just about Four. inch perfect on the blue. 12 points the lead. Yeah, just have a look at this red. Wiped its feet, nice angle on the blue. And the beauty about potting that red is it opens the other two reds that were close to it into the same pocket. Just slowed up in time. Well, shaking his head, Ronnie, wondering when he got a bounce. I think you just queue in too well, son. It's amazing, isn't it? That one in the middle of the table. You just try to get the right side of it. And how many times you just finish off straight. And this is the worst way to be on it. If you're well off straight, you can go in and out of ball, no problem. So the yellow's the ball. It's just an afterthought, but he's not got the right line. So I think this is... End of break, but he'll leave the table with a 20-point lead. <laughs> He's smiling, but Ronnie, come on, it was never going to be easy to win the frame at that visit. <laughs> Matthew said, double the red, and Ronnie went, shall I? So at least there's a bit of good humour going on around there. Nice to see Ronnie enjoying it, and Matthew. What a feast of snooker they've served up this morning. You don't see better queuing than this than both players have produced. Possible shot up behind the brown and green here. Just chip the red onto the red and black. Well, he's gone the other way. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 38. And he may have left this red. a bit thick when you catch it thick you don't get past the ball line left the red on Ronnie 20 points in front highly unlikely he's going to get the black so he needs these three remaining reds it's not over just yet where's the cue ball going well don't tell me he's straight on the blue again <laughs> He can't find an angle on this blue. 
one? Can he make one? Just. And as I say, another red and a blue. That will only put him Six. 32 points in front. And there'll still be 35 remaining. So needs an angle. And this time he's got one. <laughs> a cheer from the crowd. <laughs> got an angle on the blue, but he needs the red. Just the red. This blue will put him 32 points in front, 35 remaining. Pot the red, the 33 points in front with only 27 left. Needs the cannon, needs to bring the red into play. Well, he's not. But I think he uh, will be 12. in control of this situation. As they say on that well-known sports programme, what happened next? No prizes for guessing. Hit this well, but he didn't want to be snookering himself. <gasps> well, that's the problem. Okay. Using the spider, frightened of playing the push. He's left this red on. Balls were so close together, weren't they? He was so he was afraid of the push shot, as you said. Now, the fact that he's 32 points ahead, so blue or pink will be enough to win this round. Yeah, it's one of those shots. If you could have played it without the rest, there's no way you'd have been frightened of double hitting it. So it needs at least the blue off this red, and it's a thin cut. So you're letting the the cue ball run loose. You'll have to trust a little bit to look. Just be aware of the in off. Well, what? is he on the pink? Is he on the pink? He looked for the pink. He's just about on it. The problem is, in just dropping it in, he couldn't play it with any pace. He's going to leave the cue ball near the side cushion. Will make the yellow a bit more difficult. But don't miss the pink. Oh, oh no. don't miss the pink. Matthew Stevens, one. And that will have cost him this frame, you think, for sure. Well, I'm not quite sure why Settle he tried down, to... Please. Stun the pink in, wouldn't he just drop it in dead weight? He couldn't have missed the pink that way. Just wanted to leave the cue ball away from Two. the cushion, didn't he, as much as possible to make the yellow a little bit easier. But as you say, stunning it, just caught the near jaw. And it's cost Five. him. <laughs> Only having a look at the scoreboard. 36 points ahead, 22 remaining. It's funny how sometimes you can lose track of what's happened. Nine. But the frame is over. What a chance he had there, Matthew. He landed perfect on the pink, but just 14. tried to, if you like, make the pink a little bit more difficult to make the yellow easier. 20. So a frame that... Ronnie gave Matthew a half chance. That's all it was, a half chance. But he wasn't That's able to take frame. it. So yeah, another seven. very interesting frame. Could have gone either way at the end. But Ronnie O'Sullivan wins it. And he stretches his lead once again. Now five clear. 14-9. Yes, O'Sullivan inching towards the line. And now key moments in the last frame of their morning. It's Matthew. Lots of work to do. 37 points behind. Delicate little shot. He knew he'd be leaving a possible red here. But again, it's fraught with a lot of danger. The red just below the black does pot, of course. But too risky. Mm, and I don't think Ronnie will want to leave that red near the left corner, and that's the one he's going to play safe off. But he's, he's just got to be careful because the, 
the brown, he's got to be careful he doesn't hit the brown, he doesn't hit the green. Another tap on the table, just once again saying to Matthew, well played. And the fact that he can't get at the, the full must stop the cue ball as well. He can't dig down on the cue ball to try and force an angle. He can only see the top of it, so he can only play a top spin type of shot. Yeah, all the places you're thinking where to leave the cue ball, if he leaves that red on to the left corner, he's working out a way. If he doesn't play safe off the red that's near the left corner, can he play safe off another one and cover that red? Well, this is a possibility. If he had the, the hole of the cue ball to work with, he could maybe stun that red and, and try and get the cue ball down towards the left and corner pocket, the yellow pocket as we call it. Shot times coming up to almost two minutes, and very rarely you see Ronnie O'Sullivan ponder over a shot this long, but it is quite tricky, it's not straightforward. Now he's looking at the possible pot on the red below the black, which, as you say, is very difficult. Tights under the cushion. I think going thin off this red near the one that's possible to the left corner, but I think he's a bit concerned that he may run into the brown. This is the easier option, but he'll leave the pot on. Never seen Ronnie take this long over a shot, not for a long while, but that's how important he thinks this frame is. Matthew having a little relax. Should have a pillow there, shouldn't he, like they do Well, doing what you said, but uh, he's left the red on for all the thought he put into it. He couldn't get it safe. Because he's released the pink, he may not play the pink now. I mean, it's easier than the blue. Just wondering, well, he's nicely on the pink. Nice little nudge, that. So, Matthew, can you make the most of this opportunity? As per usual, when you're second in, so to speak, there's always awkward reds near the side cushion. Seven. After the little safety bout we've had. So it's not straightforward. At the moment, he'll be just concerned with reducing his points in this frame. 30 points behind at the moment. Pink spot wasn't available, ends up on the brown, but he's still got the black available into both corners. And the blue in the middle of the table. Oh, what's he done here? Eight. Just about OK. Well, I say just about OK. I think he's got to play a little run through here and being so close to the cue ball, the blue, he's got to be very careful here. The referee will be watching this very closely. Yeah, he may even try to stun shot and try and get down to that red behind the black. Because as you said, it's very difficult to just play the put, follow through shot, but he's played that very well. Couldn't have played it better. 13. 14. Those three reds in the middle of the table, he'd love to remove the one that's closest to the black. It would release the other two. May pay play for it in the middle. Screw back a couple of feet. Well, I would prefer to... Well, I'm sure he would have done screwed back to leave this red straight to the middle, but... 21. I think he's all right. He can nudge off one of the other reds to get position on the black. 16 points behind now. Oh, struck it beautifully. 22. 
Maybe a little bit straight, maybe forced to play for the red along the top cushion. Not ideal, but he's got to play for it sometime. Well, made the angle. That was a good shot, wasn't it? Forced the angle. 29. Now if you can get a nice angle on the blue here. Still a couple of Good. reds you can go at. This blue will put him just two points behind. And after this red, the hard work begins. 35. Possibilities. If you can try and get an angle like that on the black, he, he has the possibility. 36. I'm trying to take those two reds on the left hand side cushion, but he's tried to come a little bit straighter, so he's going to take the red below the black this time. Again, I've just left the circle there, so same position. He wants to be just low on the black. A nice angle. 44. And that looks OK from our angle here in the commentary box. Just try and stun across and take possibly the top red of these two out. Oh, oh you can't believe he's actually found the gap between the reds. Well, it's impossible, isn't it? It's impossible. 51. No one. Can. How, how can you do it? You could play that a thousand times and not do it. Look at it again. Mind the gap. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> well, every time I see it, I'm still amazed. <laughs> Well, we knew it was going to be tough, but Matthew he took Stevens, what was there, 51. and he didn't miss. He just missed his position on what a finish to the break. He goes back to his seat with a 14-point lead, and maybe just favourite. But he's found another gap. What a shot. What a shot that was. Absolutely superb. That was brilliant, John. Off the cushion forced. He had to judge that perfectly. Well, is he looking at the pot here? Look at that, cushion first, caught the red perfectly, quarter ball with the left hand side here, and to swing it round. And this red on the left hand side cushion is the only one Matthew can hit. Can he get safe off it? Surely the pot's too risky. You can see the outside of the red and play it with a lot of right hand side and check it off the top cushion, but the problem is that two problems possible double kiss and also a possibility of knocking this red over the opposite corner pocket. So maybe forced into having a go at this shot. Mm -hmm. 14 points the lead. I think you're right. I think he's building himself up here for a big shot on this red. this morning we have seen absolutely everything and that could just top the lot what a pot oh. Oh. well Matthew what Stephen a shame <laughs> would you believe it as he I think he said to Ronnie after the red 
But maybe the red was just such a big shot and he thought, I've done the hard work. What a pity, because that red, that tremendous red, if he loses the frame, will be a distant memory. One. Perfect on the pink. I just got to sit there now and suffer. Just got to be careful, Ronnie, here. I mean, where he is on the pink, you'd like to play for the red in the right corner, but there's danger you could snooker yourself with the brown, so got to be a bit wary here. Just got to be a little bit wary that brown doesn't come into play. Well, if he'd have picked it up with his hand, he couldn't have put it any better than that. What a brilliant Eight. positional shot that was. Well, he's going to need another one here. Brown to yellow, key shot. Yeah, I always felt that the yellow, it was a lot easier for a left-handed player to get on the yellow than a right-handed player, because you had a bit more margin of error. And, of course, to all intents and purposes, <laughs> Ronnie can be a left-handed player. It's a bit short of pace. Yeah, he was a bit concerned that he could snooker himself on the yellow with the Spot. green. He had a bit more margin of error than he thought, but if he pots this yellow, you think automatically going to be on the green. Just a bit testy, though, with the rest. It's there. Good shot and perfectly on the green. 14. Great shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Point behind, so he's going to need green, brown, Seven. blue, and pink to have a 15 9 lead in the semi final. And Machi will be absolutely kicking himself in the chair for missing that brown after such a brilliant red. 21. Yes, and if we look back to the frame before when he missed the pink in the middle, this could have been all so different. There's the brown after the stunning red he potted. You couldn't have ever seen that happening. 26. And Ronnie now just needs the pink. And he started the session six frames in front. And he's going to finish it six frames in front. But boy, have they treated us to eight of the best frames of Snooky you could see, yeah, wish to see, at the crucible, at everything. The only thing he didn't have, I suppose, was a century break. But we'll forgive them for that. Ronnie O'Sullivan, Matthew had chances in the last two frames, but it was Ronnie who keeps his lead and goes into this evening session leading 15 frames to nine, two frames away from a place in the final.